What's up everyone, so today I want to talk about my experience in Chinese gyms. Now before I get started, I need to preface this video with a statement. I shouldn't need to say this, but I sort of need to say this in today's modern butthurt culture. I love my life in China, I've been here a long time, my wife is Chinese. There is going to be some negativity in this video. This is not negativity towards China, towards Chinese people. Nothing I say is racist. These are just my opinions, my experiences, and my thoughts. Often in China, especially on the internet, people get butt hurt really, really easily, and it's very easy for people to get outraged. Don't get outraged. Save yourself the embarrassment. Just listen to the video, and it's just my opinion. So let's start with the worst and go towards the best. So the worst situation happened where I didn't get in a fight, but I almost got in a fight. And this is super rare for me. I'm usually very mild-mannered, very easygoing, and I'm very self-controlled. So for me to almost get in a fight is a very, very rare occurrence. So I'm in the gym and I'm squatting. And this was maybe four or five years ago when I was sort of starting out and I was very, very passionate and very gung-ho about lifting weights, so I'd always get super amped before every set, which isn't probably the most efficient way to do it, but I didn't know any better. So I go into the gym and I plan to squat, and there's this old guy uh, hanging in the power rack. He's just, he's just hanging there, and uh, he's not even like doing pull-ups, he's just hanging there. And so I ask him like, oh, can you go over to the cable station to do that instead, over there, because you can only squat in the squat rack. You can do these hanging things anywhere and so I ask him very politely can you go over there and he says fine he nods and he, he goes over there so I start squatting and I go up to my maximum weight so I unrack the bar I step back I brace and I squat down I bounce back up I get one rep I do it again I get a second rep and I think I can break my, my PR so I'm getting really excited I go down I spring out of the bottom position, and as I'm pushing upwards through the sticking point, anyone who has squatted knows exactly what I'm talking about, I feel the bar sort of start to twist, and I'm like, what is that? And I just, I keep pushing, I feel like twisting sensations in my abs, in my spine, which is not a pleasant sensation, let me tell you that. Uh, but I managed to uh, get through the sticking point, and I probably had a, a couple more reps left in the tank normally, but I just, I racked the bar simply because I felt so uncomfortable and I was like, what the heck was that? And so I racked the bar and this old guy is standing there just staring at me and he had like touched the bar to try to get my attention. And I said to him like, Niao which is like, what do you want? And I was pretty angry at this point just because you have to get amped up to squat the big weight and then someone does this during the middle of the set, set and you just want to like beat the sh beat the crap out of them. And <laughs> and so he stands there and he raises a finger and points it at me and starts saying like, "You you tell me go go." And he points to the cable station. Then he's like, "I I go. You you know tell me go. You you." <laughs> and he's just like yelling at me in this broken English and I went from being super pissed to just laughing in this guy's face because it was so hilarious and then what he did next was that he tried to get the trainers in the gym to like lynch me he's like this foreigner was like insulting China and he was he was we need to kick his butt and blah 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 and of course all the trainers there know me and they saw what happened, and they're like, we're not gonna do anything to this guy. And so he spent the next like 10 minutes trying to lynch me, and all the trainers were also laughing at him. And the more everyone laughed at him, and the more I laughed at him, like the more pissed off he got, but he couldn't do anything because there's cameras in the gym, and like, so he's not gonna try to assault me, I'm twice his size. And I saw this guy, you know, pretty often during the next few months, and like four months later, he apologized. So it was, it was super awkward for the next four months, uh, just cause I would glare at him every time he saw me. And then finally he apologized and we were cool, 
but it took four months for him to apologize for this stupidity. I've also had people grab my arm, like if they see me working out, they'll try to grab my bicep, and then they'll be like, oh, so big, or like, da, which means so big. And the fact that people think this is okay is really, really strange. Like in Western culture, personal space is really important, and you would never, you know, go out and touch someone, especially when they don't know you're there. Uh, you can get punched really easily. If you try to grab someone in the gym and they don't know who you are, you could get knocked out super easily because you don't know who the person is. But for some reason in China, this is acceptable, and it's happened to me at least a dozen times. It happens a few times per year, and they always think it's okay. I say to like, don't do that. Like, what what are you doing? And they're just like, oh no, I was just like, ooh, hun piao lao. Like, oh, it's very pretty. And I'm like, what what are you thinking? How do you think that's okay? Uh, I've also had people filming me. This happened three or four days ago. It happens a few times per year as well, where I'll finish a squat set or something. I'll turn around and someone I don't know has their phone out and they're filming me. And it's pretty obvious when someone is filming you. It's not like they're playing Tetris on their phone or something. They're following you with the, you know, their phone and it's... This can be really frustrating just because it's an invasion of personal privacy and they don't think it's wrong. They have, they don't even think, oh, this person might not want me to do this. It's just really, really frustrating. Of course, I'll get stares, which is fine. I'll get people copying my workout, which is fine. But like just filming me or, or trying to touch me is just very, very strange. And it happens really, really often. Uh, strength standards are also quite different. So if I deadlift four plates, 180 kilos, people are like amazed, they're blown away. They didn't think this kind of weight lifted would even be possible. Uh, which in reality, four plates isn't even that good of a deadlift. I think in the West, that wouldn't even really get any kind of attention. But here, it does. And it's just, there are different standards. So even the personal trainers, honestly, I saw them doing incline bench press the other day with 50 kilos. And they were, I mean, they're personal trainers and they're using 50 kilos on the incline bench press. And they think this is great. They're like, oh wow, this is amazing. This is so good. And you know, the standards are just a lot lower. And this is ironic because, you know, the standards at a professional level are extremely high. China is the best weightlifting nation on the planet by far. And so there's a big gap between recreational lifting and professional lifting. And actually lifting weights is not really seen as a good thing. People who are bigger are often seen as being stupid. And this leads to the type of situation where people think that I cannot understand or speak Mandarin. And so they talk about me in front of my face. They'll talk to their friend about me, about the weight I'm lifting, about my appearance, about the size of my legs about something else i mean it's very rude and the trainers know that i can understand so they'll like be you know oh come on this guy understands and they won't believe that i understand mandarin so they'll start talking to me and finally they're so amazed that i can actually speak mandarin they're like wow you can speak mandarin i'm like yeah i've been here nine years that's not really that amazing i've also had instances where someone pulled an impromptu julius maddox bench press situation where they stole a plate between sets. So I went out to get some water or, or do something else and I came back a minute or two later, I unrack the bar and it's uneven because someone felt the need to take that plate. The plate on the end of the squat that I was clearly about to squat, clearly still using, and they felt the need to steal it. And this has happened several times, enough where I always check the bar before every single lift. Every single lift, no matter what I do, if it's a warm-up, anything, I check the plates. Because this has happened so much. And I don't know if this is a cultural thing or just stupidity, but it happens quite a bit. It's also worth noting that if you go to a gym in China, they usually won't have day passes. You'll need to sign up for like a month or a year. And often what happens is that gyms close down. So they'll open a gym, do a bunch of marketing, and then close down the gym once they get a bunch of people to sign up and then they'll reopen the gym later in a different name. It's just a scam to get people to sign up. And so they'll have like five-year plans, which, as everyone knows, don't work very well. 
Anyway, with all of that negativity out of the way, I actually feel better, so thank you for uh, <laughs> listening. It is, on the whole, getting better, and it is overall a positive situation. Most people are very friendly, very respectful. I've had some awesome conversations with older lifters, younger lifters. Uh, I try to be as respectful as you know, and as positive as possible. And you know, even if it's different, and even if there are some minor inconveniences, some minor cultural differences, uh, I think it's important to be flexible, be understanding, and realize that I am essentially a guest here in this country. And um, I realize I've complained quite a bit during this video, but uh, on the whole, my experiences here have been very, very positive. Anyway, if you have any questions about what life is like here in China, either in the gym or outside of the gym, feel free to let me know. I know there's a ton of misinformation and disinformation uh, and propaganda in the West about what life is actually like here. Uh, I've been here for a very long time, so if you need any clarifications or clarity on the reality of the situation here, feel free to let me know. I'm happy to answer any questions. Uh, try not to be too political, but you know, a little bit is okay. And that is all for today. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Again, let me know what you think. Stay safe wherever you are, and I'll see you next time. Peace.